For more insight on the Dadaab refugee camp, joining us now is VOA reporter Henok Fente, who recently returned from visiting the camp in Kenya. Welcome to In Focus, Henok. Thank you for having me. Yes. Now, uh, you did a fabulous job up in Dadaab. Just give me a sense of uh, what, what a security arrangement was like when you were there, looking into the camps and outside the camps. Well, Vincent, every humanitarian organization operating in Dadaab has a security protocol to, to follow, and mainly the UN organizations. Uh, any kind of uh, activity outside the UN compound has to be accompanied by an escort, which is uh, a, a military uh, uh, operation. It could be Kenyan military or, or Kenyan police. Uh, giving protection to uh, these humanitarian uh, workers who are in the outskirts of the Dadaab town where most of the camps are. So uh, there are exceptions uh, uh, to this. Uh, one organization that does not uh, believe in military escorts is, uh, of course, MSF, uh, where the two workers, the European workers that are, uh, that are uh, abducted are from and ICRC. So their basic belief is the people we're helping will provide the security, which is not the case always. And, and here we're dealing uh, with a very uh, unpredictable uh, group of people. We have groups in Somalia, the Al-Shabaab, we have pirates who have totally different objectives and don't seem to care really about uh, humanitarian aid workers. Now, in Kenya, uh, how did you observe the vulnerability of those who are in the camps and the extent to which they could actually be in danger regardless of who they are? The camps are very dangerous because even though there is a way in the intake process that they make sure uh, that some of these people are actually uh, refugees coming from Somalia, but what is the face of Al-Shabaab, you have to ask? These are regular people, uh, they can be anybody, so they have a way of infiltrating into the camps. And one would ask, why would al-Shabaab uh, do something like that? Uh, you have to look into uh, the political uh, dynamics of what's going on in Somalia. Al-Shabaab controls uh, almost 60% of the, uh, the population that is in Dadaab. So the drought-affected area, almost 60% of it, is controlled by al-Shabaab. And they are losing the people that they control. So if you control an area militarily, you can control land, but also you have to have people that you control. So Al-Shabaab yeah. is trying to discourage that. And it looks like the situation is getting more dicey and, and predictable. Thanks a lot, Henok, uh, for joining us here on In Focus. Thanks and that's uh, Henok Fente, uh, VOA reporter, who joined us uh, here today. He just returned from uh, Adadab. Now, for information on any of today's stories, please visit us online at VOA Africa. Dot com. You can also visit us on Facebook. Just search for In Focus.